Hello everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video here at my YouTube channel. Today is day three of color month for 2024. And I'm actually sharing with you a card that I made for the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel. Big thanks to Simon for allowing me to share this card here as well. Today, I'm using these postage stamps from the US Postal Service as color inspiration for my card. So I've picked out a few different colors of ink from Simus' stamp that kind of go along with these tulip stamps. I've got kind of a light peach shade pink, uh, kind of a more reddish purple, and then a more cool tone purple. I thought those colors would work really well together. And I'm using this stencil set from Rainbow Splash called Flip Flop Shapes. I'm going to be using the half heart image for all of my card today, but there is a full heart in the stencil set as well. So my idea behind this card is to have, you know, two different colors blended on each half of the heart. And then I'm going to have the hearts overlap each other and kind of intersect with each other to create a colorful pattern. So as I started stenciling, I put down some post-it notes to mask off the areas of the stencil that I didn't want to receive any ink. And also just to make sure I don't go off the edge of the stencil and have that line end up as a mark on my card. So after I stenciled one half of the heart, I then cleaned the stencil with some alcohol, just a little spray bottle filled with alcohol that cleans up the stencil really quickly and helps it to dry quickly as well. Then I flipped the stencil over and ink blended in the opposite fashion. So instead of going from that peach up to pink, this time I went pink up to peach. So I just uh, did the opposite uh, orientation of the color. So for my second heart, I'm going to use the purple shade. So I'm starting with amethyst and I blended that in from the bottom and then I'm going to swap it to my other color violet and have that come in from the bottom. I'm gonna flip that stencil over after cleaning it and then do the opposite direction. So I'm starting with violet at the bottom and then I'm switching to amethyst at the top. And I love the look of the, the hearts overlapping just a little bit right there. I think it's a really cool look. So I'm going to do another heart and this time I'm going from amethyst to cheeky. And then for the other half, after I've cleaned my stencil really well with a rag and some alcohol, and then I, rubbing alcohol actually, then I flipped my stencil over and went the opposite direction. So I started with cheeky and then went to amethyst. And I did a little bit of a lighter blend on that heart as well to get more of that transparent look of the hearts are overlapping. For this last one, I went back to the peach to pink shades um, just because I wanted a little more pink on that side of the card. And then here at the bottom, I'm going to repeat those purple colors just to get a little more purple down here at the bottom. So this is going to complete all of my ink blending for my card. And I really love how that turned out. It really is a fun way to show those hearts. I'm using the Sending Love and Hugs die from Simus' stamp for my greeting, and I've die cut it four times, and I've already stacked two of them. Here's the third, and I'm going to put the fourth one on top eventually so that I have a really substantial greeting. This sort of gives the look of faux chipboard. Um, chipboard used to be in the scrapbooking industry a really fun embellishment and now we just like to stack our die cuts for kind of a faux look of chipboard so I put some more liquid glue on the back of my greeting and then put that directly onto the card now to finish this up a little bit I've thought about adding on some little tiny hearts so I'm using the mini hearts party die to cut out some white hearts and after I sort of played with having some hearts kind of kind of uh, sprinkled out sporadically around the greeting I decided to have it be a little bit more contained and just stack four small mini hearts on either side of the word love and that finishes up the card it looks like it's part of that greeting and I love that it really uh, embraces the clean and simple look of the background by keeping that greeting very simple as well 
So that's the card for today. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. Uh, all the supplies of everything I've used is listed down below in the video description. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.